Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the episode of Pat Tate's Performance. Today is the day I officially start my One Care Kentucky Toll Fesky 31 vlog here on Long Island. This is year number two for me. Last year was my first year and I am late. Last year, April 19th, I started my lawn care journey. And July 4th, it's an absolute beautiful first cut where it finally all settled and came in. Okay? If you follow my channel after that, lawn was absolutely phenomenal. People loved it and we really enjoyed it too. So this year I am late because of COVID, Corona, the virus, whatever you want to say it. Okay? Um, I hate this term being labeled essential. I had to keep America running, keep things uh, going so you guys can get products to the shelves and a few other things. Also, more than ever, I was busy here at the house running Pat Taste Performance, okay? Between YouTube and helping and fixing more mowers, blowers, weed whackers, you know, chainsaws, the whole nine. Usually the spring sprint's about uh, a 10 day period for me where it's absolutely mad. The spring sprint was absolutely phenomenal, um, a little bit longer. I sold 142 pieces of equipment, and I repaired a few as well, okay? But as you guys know, I'm mostly a flipper. So that means I have to go out, buy them at a fair price, bring them back, do my thing to them, and get them back out the door for a profit. So it's not like the money comes to me. I have to go out, grab it, and get it. So a lot of new homeowners for the first time. We're cutting their grass. It's going to be fantastic. Um, I gave them a few tips with their lawnmower, and hopefully this will help them, you know, try and maintain that good grass. You do not have to be a professional to, to do this. Um, there are a couple of lawn care channels out there. They're absolutely amazing. Great group of guys. It doesn't have to be that complicated, right? If you guys saw my VLAG channel, we used a handful of products. Didn't cost a lot of money. Didn't drive you crazy. It was short, simple, sweet, and the results were absolutely beautiful. So we're going to do the same regimen this year. Even though we're late, I'm going to show you that we can definitely continue to grow grass. And it's never, ever too late, unless you're in the dead of winter, to start your lawn care journey to a greener, better, greater, and healthier lawn. Okay? So, uh, me going about today, I'm going to split this up into two days, right? I am taking off tomorrow from work. I'm trying to kill a couple birds with one stone. You don't have to go this route. I mean, I'm late to everything. But... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm going to cut the grass. I already weeded the beds out. I'm going to mulch the beds because after tomorrow, you are not, nobody, not even I, nobody is stepping on my lawn for the rest of the season. Also, during my germination period, absolutely not, okay? I am not going to be touching my grass for about a month, month and a half, sometimes two months. We will see how it grows, okay? Now, I could have went two ways about this now, right? I am late pre-emergent because I kept saying I'm going to keep doing it, I'm going to keep doing it, I'm going to keep doing it. I just never had the opportunity. So I am late. So what I could do now is treat the weeds that I have now, wait three to four weeks, and then start the process. I am not going to do that. This year I'm going to do something different in the sense of my cutting height, right? My cutting height was 3.5, 3.75, you know, inches, right? That one was beautiful. This year, Second year Kentucky Tall Fest 31, which is a very tall grass, beautiful grass, stripes nice, okay? My goal is between four inch minimum and a six inch maximum. It depends how the grass will take. This is year two, okay? And I keep saying, just like last year, treat your lawn like a bruise. It's going to look a lot worse before it gets better. So, let me take you um, to my lawn. Let me show you what I'm working with. I have been cutting my lawn about maybe three or four times this season. Um, I'm still cutting at winter height two inches because, again, I kept saying, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, and I just didn't have the opportunity. So, let's take a walk. All right, so this is the grass. You can see it's pretty tall. We have a lot of, a little bit of chickweed, okay? Some crabgrass, which is always expected. And we definitely have some nut sedge. Now, if you guys know, my philosophy is that if it is green, it is for me. We have a couple of dandelions as well. Okay, I am not going to go to extreme lengths. Okay, that's expensive to have the perfect one. You do not need to do that. 
throughout this video, I'm going to be throwing screenshots of my lawn from last year. Okay, you guys will know that you do not have to go that route. Okay, you'll still be able to have great, luscious lawn and lay down those beautiful, defying stripes that everybody is absolutely jealous of. So, this year, we are going to cut the grass, thatch, aerate, overseed, and throw down our pre-emergent and treat the soil. Okay, and they're also going to do um, the spectricide bug killer too. Okay? We're going to let the grass grow really nice and thick. Okay, and then well, from there, we'll see if we start needing to spot treat parts of the lawn, and then from there, because the grass is so tall, it's going to hover, it's going to cover these spot treats, and then we will grow grass in between, right, in between the lawn. That is the goal for this year, and like I said, it, it's not too late to start your lawn care journey. All right, so uh, let's get the time master and we'll get this party started. I did get a new set of blades for it, but I will not show you them until a first cut because these are going to be the beater blades that are on there now. Right. So this is year two with my Cobalt 40 volt lead backer. Absolutely amazing. Been sitting all winter long. No problems to worry about. It. Congratulations once again to our giveaway winner, Second Chance Mowers. He actually just won these. Won this a couple weeks ago. So, uh, hope you enjoy it and you love it just as much as we do. Alright guys, get the hot rod out. This is my mower of choice. It's a Toro Time Master. It is the older version with the underpowered 190cc engine. If you guys are new to the channel, that's why you understand why every time I see a smaller machine, whether it's a pressure washer or a regular 22-21 inch lawn mower with this engine on it, I get aggravated. This machine does have a few tricks up its sleeve. Um, this is also year two on an aftermarket Chinese carburetor. There was nothing wrong with my carburetor. There was a guy who needed his time master right then and there now. And he wanted an OEM carb. So I took mine, put it on his, and he paid me very handsomely for it. So we are bagging. Um, I know it's a huge no-no, but don't forget, tomorrow we're going to be thatching. we got to bag that up too. So why am I going to cut the grass and add clippings and some weeds back into my lawn? I'm going to bet. And of course, I've restyled it to uh, increase performance as well. my short can. Don't forget to subscribe and enter that giveaway too. So this is Pat Hayes performance, like a fool. We're giving away a short can and $50 cash. To fill up your gas can, and to fill up the vehicle you choose to fill up that you take to get the gas can. That was not my idea. So, this whole giveaway was my idea. It was hers. A little bit of sea foam. So let's talk about our cut, okay? Doesn't have to be anything fancy, doesn't have to be anything crazy because we are going to absolutely wreck it when we thatch and overseed. But <clears throat> we're going to do a perimeter cut and then we're going to go back and forth. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram and my community page, I posted my first semi-decent cut. Okay, you're supposed to rotate every cut. You do not want your grass 
being trained to grow a certain way. That means you don't get your defined stripes, you're going to get ruts, you're going to get a lot of issues because of that. So, every week, I go on a four-week rotation, sometimes even more, depending what kind of mood I'm in, I cut it all different patterns. The only pattern I have not been successfully able to cut is diamonds. I've tried cheating, it just hasn't worked. So I think I'm going to be raising my deck height, my cut height, to try and achieve that diamond look. That's the only one I want, it's the only one I like. A few others I have done, I enjoy them, I love them. But diamonds, for some reason, just have me weak at the knees. So we're going to do a perimeter cut. And we're just going to go up and down traditionally. And then tomorrow... I'm probably going to cut one more time just to make sure, and then uh, we're going to start our thatching and, and, a, and aeration. Now the reason why I'm doing this tonight is because I'm doing the flower beds as well. I'm going to mulch, and I'm putting preen down, which is a weed preventer. And the preen you have to wet in order to activate it. So tomorrow I will not be wetting my grass nice and dry. If you guys know if you have a time master, it sucks cutting like grass. So, uh... I'll take you guys with me. take you guys along for the ride. We're bagging and to me bagging is very boring. I side discharge and I'll explain later on in our video why and what's the difference between side discharge, mulching, and bagging. Obviously bagging is not something you want to do on a regular basis. Um, so really just narrows it down to mulching and side discharging. And I'll break down why I do that in a later video. So let's just see. I kept checking the bag because I'm not used to bagging. I can't tell you where my lawn number is from. I don't want it to be cold. Oh. Not too shabby. Okay. Now I'm bagging. This will give you an idea of what this Time Master does. Obviously, some are lower than others. But a fantastic, fantastic cut. Let's take a look at this yard. Let's see. The sun is starting to die down. And let's see what we got for stripes. But it also gives you a good idea when you cut it short, you can start seeing some of your troubled areas compared to if you cut it tall, you would never be able to see some of these troubled and, and bare spots. All right, can you guys see? Yes, we got we got we got some defunage. Um, a little bit more trouble spots, trouble spot. 
think this here, yeah, this right here would be my trouble spot. It feels dry, but I've been I've been watering. So I have to check the sprinklers and see what's up with that. Now let's see, can you guys see any stripes from this angle? The sun's beating this well. But they are there. They are not as profound as they should be, right? Striping comes in, in two different ways, okay? Striping is the way the sun hits, but the taller your grass is, the more fuller it is, the more defined your stripes are as well. Also has to do with soil color as well. I have not put any Milo down, okay? So the color you see now is what's left over from last year. That luscious green lawn that I had, that is from a Milo treatment. I am not doing Milo now because there's almost like a, like a stimulant, an enhancer. Okay, I don't want the new grass to choke out. I'm not, I don't want the existing grass to choke out the new grass. So we're going to try and slow down that process. We're going to put down a slaughter for a pre-emergent. No Milo. None. Products I use every year, religiously and faithfully, Spectracide. I do have a bug issue here. See these wings right here? Grubs. They will destroy your lawn. When I was weeding yesterday, I saw a few of them in the flower beds. I do not want to get them to the lawn. Now, in order for this to be activated, the grass has to be wet. So that's why I'm going to cut the grass, throw this on there to seal the tips, and we're going to go from there. Okay. I'm going to be putting down my traditional soil conditioner as well, but I'm going to save the soil conditioner for tomorrow. That is going to be my activating agent for everything else, just like those here. Okay, we're talking about preen. I don't think this stuff works, but it is what it is. It doesn't work as effective, effectively as it should, but if you guys have any better ideas, let me know. Preen blows. Maybe I'm just using it wrong, but that also has to be wet to activate. So let me just throw this down and I'll start mulching the flower beds. That's boring. I will see you tomorrow when we bust out the big boy equipment. Alright guys. So it's time to water. Check how easy this is. One of the best purchases I made last year is a Ratio system. It's a Wi-Fi controller. I do have it tied up into Google Nest, but uh I don't want to seem bougie if I tell it to turn on my uh, commands. But see, look at that. That's my front yard from last year. Ooh. I'm going to turn it on. I'm give it a nice 15 minute soak. And then tomorrow we'll be back. I'll take it for a quick walk around. Battery's dying, so I wanted it when the battery dies. Whatever comes first. Nice even cut. Spectracide is down. Remember, that's just for the bugs and the grubs. You do not want grubs in your lawn. They will eat your lawn alive from the underneath. Oof. I don't know what the hell happened to this. Let's see. There we go. Perfect. So, I said, just do down some mulch. Mulch will keep moisture. And then I'll work on that flower bed tomorrow. Just weeded it, put down some preen, put down some um, acidity to turn the hydrangeas blue slash purple. And uh, that's it. Tomorrow's the day. D-Day. God, I got some really nice equipment. Remember, always treat yourself. Hey, what's up, guys? Today's a beautiful day. It is Wednesday. I took off from work to work here. whoop de doo So anyway, I absolutely love and enjoy this. My bluebird, Thatcher. My billy goat, aerator. Of course, the time master. Let's go starter for it, okay? This is 21, 22, 4. It's expensive, it's 60 bucks, 70 bucks, but it lasts the whole year. You put this down every five weeks. It's pre-emergent, 
with fertilizer. Okay. Remember, it's, I run a hybrid program between organic and synthetic. That is synthetic. So you must apply that accordingly. Do not over apply or else you will damage the lawn. Okay. So cut the grass yesterday. We're going to do one more cut just to make sure we're good. We're going to get down and dirty with the thatcher. Um, my buddy borrowed this, so I'm going to start a little high and work my way down. Okay, and then we're going to go to the star of the show. I have a lot of stars. Uh, shout out to Warren and Pest. Uh, uh, oh yeah. That's right. Kentucky 12 fescue. Uh, 31. This is what it's all about. Nice, tall, thick grass. Got those really nice defined stripes. This is what I was waiting for. Thank you, Morning Pest, for uh, getting this to me. This video is not sponsored. It's just by me. But, uh, you know, I shout out a company and a product, and they definitely hooked me up. They were the only company selling it by the 50 pound bag at a reasonable price. So, uh, we like that. Okay? Now remember, that Lesco needs to be activated because it's granular. We're going to kill two birds with one stone. Our activating agent is going to be organic, Earthrite Super Stuff, Enhanced Soil Conditioner. Okay, this is organic. You can apply this as many times as you want, but you really should be applying this either two to three times a year. This is a straight up soil conditioner. Okay, what I love about this product, okay, is that there is an argument amongst the lawn care community about thatching and, and air issue. I just have a very good buddy of mine who's a landscaper and we bounce ideas off each other, okay? Um, he doesn't believe in thatching. I do. He believes in straight up aeration. Um, his argument is that when you thatch, you leave spots for weeds to grow in. So, I understand where he's coming from, but you have to remember that every client of his is different, and they're not running a taller, thicker grass. Not every client he has has a treated lawn, so you have cross-contamination. Okay, if, you have, if you're gonna have a nice lawn, you have to do a few things. Keep everybody off it. Okay? No dogs. No kids. Nothing. Nobody. If you have a dog, say goodbye. If you want to have kids play on it, yeah, yeah, say goodbye. They could be a little rough. Okay? And two, if you're treating your backyard different than your front yard, say goodbye to that as well. Right? I have two different lawnmowers. I don't handle my backyard the same way as the front yard. Just the way it works out. So, this will be more of my finish mower, and the back one would be my rough cut. So, there are people that argue about aeration, and I stumbled across this a couple years ago, and it started off with, there are people who don't believe in aeration, and they just believe in straight up soil conditioners. And people were saying, oh, you need to introduce nutrients, yada, 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 and so on. Okay? Um, aeration relieves the compactness in the soil, so it allows roots and stuff to grow in as well. And an easier gateway for the stuff to get inside the soil. So a guy says he never aerated his lawn, and all he used was this stuff here. He posted a picture of his lawn, and the thread went quiet. So I still believe in aeration. I still believe in compact. Okay? This stuff is very popular down south because, as you guys see, it turns clay into a growing, luscious, delicious, rich soil that will promote germination. So, I'm going to do that too as well. Amazon, hook up to the hose, spray and pray. That is going to be my activating agent. All right, so I just ran over real quick at the mower, right? That's boring for me to just try to show that to you. So this is what, from yesterday to today. God, I love the smell of fresh cut grass. Hold on, I have to sell one more. The phone just went off. Ugh. Okay, it's coming from South Hold. Alright, so we're going to thatch now. We're going to go up and down. And then we're going to do the same pattern, but we're going to reverse it. So we're going to pull the grass this way. And then we're going to pull the grass this way. To make sure we get even 
distribution, right? You don't want to just go one way. You want to go both ways for your maximum results. All right, this is the dead grass, with the unabsorbed multi clippings from the previous season and previous cuts because I'm late. So, like I said, my buddy borrowed this, so you don't want to go too crazy with thatching, right? You almost want to stop when you start to see a little bit of a line in your grass. That's the slits, though. Those are, those are the knives hitting, okay? Once we do that, I'll show you a trick with your thatcher, and you can turn it actually into a slit seeder, and it'll increase your chances for germination. That's why I don't own one. So this is my first pass. We know I can go down a little lower. I don't see any markings in my dirt. So let's drop this down another level. And let's try another pass again. This is perfect. Guys, pass one is done. I'm not gonna take you. All right, believe it or not, this is absolutely amazing. Okay, last year, first time I thatched, had about three and a half bags full of thatch. You know what this means, right? Total time master is mulching everything up really nice. I have really nice, healthy grass and soil where it's actually taking all these clippings and putting good use into them. I am breaking them down in a time efficient manner where it's not causing harm to the grass. Pretty excited about this. Previous years, 
they used to bag, I used to get a lot more mulch than this. I mean, a lot more clippings than this, and I was absolutely aggravated and upset. So, like I said, I side discharge, and like I said, I'll explain to you why I do on my first mile. But, whew, perfect. I'm gonna go suck this up with Time Master, and we're gonna go same way, up and down, okay? But we're gonna go in the opposite direction. So like I said, since I went this way and this way, now I'm gonna go this way, and we're gonna go the opposite of where we just went. So now what we got to do is remember we went this way, up and down. Now we're going to go, because this was the upswing, we're going to go down this way and we're going to retrace our pattern in the opposite direction. Because remember, we're pulling the grass this way, now we got to pull the grass this way for maximum results, right? Remember we talked about how you should cut your grass a different pattern every time? Same thing with the thatch, up and down, we're good to go. Guys, let's get you out. Let's see what we got. Ups away, Steve. Look, more thatch. We're good. Here we go. See this? We exposed a, a weak spot in the lawn here with the roots and the grass, which is fine. Look at this more. More. See? If we didn't go that second pass, we would have missed all this. And don't forget, it's also pulling up some weeds too. Fantastic. So, let's get the Time Master, let's suck this up, we're going to start moving on to aeration. Two rounds of thatch done. Okay, if you guys notice, I stopped when I got right here. It was only because I'm like, you know what? Since I'm right here, let me empty out the bag. So last year we went from three and a half bags, now we're down to two and a half. So we absolutely know we're reducing a thatch, which is our excellent thing to do. Now we're going to do aeration. Okay. Technically, when you aerate your lawn, it's supposed to be wet. Um, I try not to because I don't want to rip up my yard, get muddy. My yard is not perfect. Um, I have a troubled spot right here okay it's a little divot this holds water it's like a pocket so I try not to uh, go crazy with that so I'm gonna make my first pass with the air 8 remember my buddy Rob used it so I, have to, I don't remember what settings but I want to get cores up to my knuckle pay attention to your sprinkler heads mine are pretty easy to run among my pavers you want to puncture them and if I have to add weight we'll add weight this thing is a pain to me. We're almost there. We're almost there. guys two rounds aeration is done obviously listen use common sense man remember I'm not gonna do both be like both ways plus aerator as nice as it is it's a little pain he has to use so remember we went this way first pass then we came back again and did the opposite way just check out these cores obviously I'm working on them and look see how it look Can you guys see this I didn't wet I didn't water my grass this is from yesterday so that means my water, my soil, has beautiful, excellent, excellent, excellent. It's still holding the moisture. It's fantastic. You know what I attribute that to? That mushroom stuff. It's turning hard soil 
to nice absorbent soil. Fantastic. Hold water because that's the only way you can get grass to grow. Water, water, water. Don't over water, but just enough. Look at this. Beautiful. These are our troubled areas, which we have some topsoil for. And we'll definitely take care of that. So now we are on to one of the last steps. Let's let's see using our thatcher. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna break up these plugs, okay? And then we're gonna put little slices into the ground and the gray seed is gonna sit right in there. And it's gonna grow nicey nice. I'll show you how to do that. That's our trick. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop it down a little bit lower. We're on two. I'm sorry, we were on three. Let's drop it down to four. Let's see what the results are. Exactly what we're looking for. All right, so let's pick this up with the Time Master one last time and we're good to go. And now, for overseed. That's gonna go down first, then the granular pre-emergent, then we're gonna to top it off with the mushroom stuff to activate everything. This is the definition of overseed. I'm going to dump this whole bag in my front door. Remember, you're doing this yourself. Think about how much money you're saving. Call a landscaper, see how much he wants to charge. Because you're going to dump. So let's not forget, the spreader's on four and a half because it's a Scott spreader. We, this is a synthetic, slaughter fur and pre-emergent. We cannot over apply this. We will burn the grass. You will kill things. You will do damage. So, let's not over apply. Right? It's our common courtesy in nature for us to overdo. And as you guys see, I am overdoing my grass. And but you know what? That's overseed. You know what the premise of that is? You guys ever heard of the saying? If you just throw enough shit at the wall, it's gonna stick. Guess what, baby? We're gonna grow grass. So, that's it. Just one way. No over application. Spiker time. See this right here? 
all our troubled area. Right? Get this mixed in. This is only in the troubled areas. So there's a lot of bare spots. Right? And once we're done. Put down our granules. Okay. I'm gonna put some topsoil down too. Not on the whole yard. Just on a really clear couple spots. Keep this working. You see. You see. Yeah. You just can't have gray seeds sit on top. Topsoil. There's all different kinds. I think Scott's is like $8. It says it helps you grow grass. <laughs> don't bother. You're going to have good soil when you're done, so you don't need very good soil. You just need extra soil. Top coat. So just the troubled areas. All right, we're down to the home stretch. It's supposed to shake this real good. Remember, it's supposed to wet everything to keep this activated now, right? Remember, you gotta water, 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 right? So we're gonna be watering twice a day at 15 minutes. Once we start to see germination, we're gonna throttle back and we're gonna go back down to one watering a day, all right? Shake this thing like a Polaroid picture, and away we go. Remember, get off the grass when we're done. No more. Alright guys, we're done here. Remember, treat your lawn like a bruise. It's gonna look a lot worse before it gets better. I'll see you guys in about a month.
That's right. I'm not going to touch my grass for a month. I'm just going to let it grow, grow, grow. Okay, I'll probably see you guys in a little bit in between with small engine repairs, and I will do an update once I start to see some germination. All right, guys, if you guys found this video helpful, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and guess what? I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pat Taste Performance. And don't forget, the missus and I, we go live every Saturday morning, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern Time. All right, guys, later.